What's up? This is Jesse the Negotiator. Caesar the Gambler. Open box mafia in your face. Back again, but this time we're we're focusing on Boba Fett's and the variants and all the other companies. One second. Not Bob. It's Boba Fett. Boba. One of our favorite focus characters, right? I mean, yep. the passion behind hey, this guy. Is hey man, man. A best bounty hunter out out there, so can't beat that. Fed as a kid was that um, on Empire Strikes Back, you know, you, you finally get to see him. You know, he, he he's the one who probably was behind capturing Han Solo to finally get in the Carbonite, yep. and then um, he gets his ass shipped over to Jabba, um, one of the best, basically, uh, bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's a Mandalorian, born after the Battle of Naboo. I mean, there's some history behind it. Jango his father. He father. picked him to be his right hand man, seeing his father get his head cut off by Mace Windu. Mace Windu. Yep. He's one of the top rated, uh, what's it called, figures and uh, in, in Star Wars universe. I think that's like probably if you think about it, you know, Bubba Fett is one of our favorites. Darth Vader, obviously, is a very yep. favorite. Um, Stormtrooper is a very good favorite yep. uh, character of mine. So for us, I think this is uh, one thing both have in common. Uh, we were looking for these black series. You know, I know you have these as well. Yeah. Um, I got these from a guy in, I believe, Ma Malaysia. His name is Michael Chung. About the elites, man. And then these elites. So I, it's not like I slept on these, but one thing when you're a collector is you really got to be patient. I mean, you, you can't have a million dollars in your pocket. It does cost a lot of money to get, you know, all these toys that we try to show you guys. So the thing is, you gotta pick and choose. Uh, I always try to find a deal, you know, offer up, you know, let it let go. Uh, Craigslist, you never know. In, in this situation, the gentleman was on his way, leaving from Oregon Hill, going to school out in Arizona, and he gave me a really good price, and I was happy to get him. The other thing too is that if you're trying to buy toys, say we live here in the Bay Area. I've lost many deals. You know, somebody in Texas wants to send me one of these. It's going to cost you like $35 yeah. just to ship it. So just to wait. if you want to get one, try to find something closer to your area. Local. Always look for local deals, man, because you'll save a lot of money from local deals. Um, that's the best thing, you know, because a lot of people are letting these go out. You know, it's it just becomes, uh, you know, something in their, in their man cave or something that it's just collecting. That's why Jesse got a good deal, you know, on those guys right there. Again, we were talking in one of our other shows in regards to Mayfix. So Mayfix is uh, is another figure that we collect, uh, other than Black Series and the Disney Elite. Uh, the variants that he got on these, you know, the, the Black Series you could get uh, back in the days for about 20, 25 bucks. These figures are about $65 now. But how much are the Mayfix again? Those are around. Exclusive when they first came out with when, when I bought them where there was uh, 65 they're running now 55 but You gotta remember so you gotta cheaper. Get, yeah, they're cheaper, but you gotta remember these these are imports You cannot just go off buying them at regular comic book shops. Yeah, so you're, you're gonna not have buying gotta, these, you're, you're, not, connects. you're not buying these at Toys R Us no, no, you can't find them at Toys R Us. Walmart Yeah, you can't you can't find actually you can't find none of these anymore at Toys R Us or anything because Stop. Look at your local comic book stores. Yeah. You know, uh, we have a couple places here in the Bay Area where we got the hook up, and yeah. you know, you always can try to negotiate a deal. Did you come off at all? The gun? Oh, uh, he can be standing there. No, oh, he, uh, the gun doesn't come off, but you know what? Um, I'll sabotage him. What if he doesn't survive? He's he does, to me. He does say all, all the lines, especially. He's no good to me, dead. He's talking about Han right there. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. So that's the famous lines, and that's and that's the actual voice from the movie. So yeah, they don't no longer make those. Um, so you so can't get this. At you can't all. you can't get it anymore unless you get on eBay prices, and you, you already know you know so, eBay's crazy. So for me, I, I go over to this guy, guy's uh, man cave, and I'm not gonna lie, this thing is detailed really well. Mm -hmm. It looks so good. I mean, the shoes, the knee pads, um, the gun. Everything you can see on this is just really good and detailed. Oh, well, they, got, they got it down with the Wookiee braids and the Jedi braid. So, well, everybody, everybody don't know, you know, when the when you, those little braids on the side, that's a Wookiee braid and that's a 
uh, what's called a, a pot of wand. One thing that we wanted also to go into was this one. It's uh, how big is this one right here? Uh, he was uh, 11 inches. Uh, no, sorry, 11, 11.5 inches. And this is from the from happiest Dis place on there. Yeah, I got this at Disneyland. Um, it was exclusive. They they don't longer make them. Um, they did have a Vader in him. But I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't did shoot them up at all. About the rocket that would shoot off. Yeah. Um, and then the infamous. Varieties of uh, mobile. We got the elites. We got the black series. This is was made by Hasbro themselves for Disneyland parks only. And then we got the Mayfix. We got, of course, uh, the legacy, the um, legacy collection. Always get the legacy collection of this Mandalorians. Any Mandalorian, it doesn't matter. They go up in price. And you see the legacy collection right there. It's just basically another uh, line, a series that has gone through. Yo, this is Jesse, the negotiator. Caesar the gambler. Here at Open Box Mafia. Thank you guys. This is our Bubba Fett uh, review. And uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to let you guys go on this one. Keep on watching our videos. We're going to be coming... You know, hard with this. Have fun. Have fun, man. Keep collecting. Be patient. Don't spend all your money. Again, open box. Always open your stuff, man. Always open your stuff. Yep. If one more label try to stop me, it's gonna be some dreadhead niggas in your lobby. Channel riding.